Feeling pretty good tonight. Black and filet mignon is what we're about to have here. It's late at night too. Should be eating hot, sweaty food like this much earlier. But I started writing and I, I finished, um, actually finished one story and went completely through another story in my book. Uh, basically my book is a whole bunch, it's my life story, but it's a whole bunch of little stories all strung together. Um, but they follow a chronological line. So every, I have, um, I write from two points. I don't know if I've talked to you, but what am I doing Put garlic on there? I thought that was something else. Wait a minute. Um. We're going to put black and seasoning on that. Liquid smoke. I was thinking about having cookies again, but I already have five cookies and I haven't had any meat. I keep thinking tomorrow's Saturday, everybody. I don't know what's wrong with my head, man. I keep thinking like it's Friday. It's weird. I know what day of the week it is. <laughs> All right, that's a little bit more salt. Um, that was uh, just some stiff, stiff, stiff. And then we're going to take that right there. And we're going to put a little bit of oil in this pan over here really itty bitty pan just a little bit of oil I could use butter too I use butter when I flip it or do it now and say I did it then because it's always better with butter instead of putting a butter layer on there too a little butter and Take that right in there. And there's that side. Put a little salt. Leave that side alone mostly. We're gonna cook it on pretty high temperature over there. Meanwhile, I'm gonna get a baked potato going and some sour cream, something to cool this down. I didn't put my habanero Tabasco on there. I can put that on there in the next round. Or when I eat it, Nothing to see right now other me over here in the corner. Went to the hospital today again. Doctors and they're pretty cool, Mackenzie Willamette. Some lady didn't have her dog on a leash, and I'm like falling down having my episodes, and I'm like trying to get up and you know, and this there's a pit bull man and straight jumped at me and she didn't get it under control. Um, until before it would have been where I was at, right? So I had to like jump, like, meanwhile I'm having my episodes, it was like, bummer. But the doc there was, we were talking about pain medication, he asked me about pain medication, and I told him the truth, I said, you know, I said, I'm an ex, ex meth addict, four years, and he said, well, congratulations, and I appreciated that, you know, and I and I said, to tell you the truth, if I take a, um, a, um, a hydrocodone when I feel this, when I got pain real bad, I'm like, they don't touch it. I can't feel a thing. And he was the one who brought up medical marijuana. And we talked about it a little while. Because I said, hey, look, you know, it helps me in some ways. Oh, I can get a potato cooking. See, I start talking to you guys, I get lost. I gotta get these potatoes and cook it. I gotta mix it. I get some. Uh, uh, I never did make that uh, uh, chicken pot pie or anything like that. 
Maybe we'll make something like that. I'm feeling a lot better together, America. You can't tell. I've just got done with, you know, like I said, writing, being a good place in my head. Feeling kind of blessed right now. And since I'm, you know, <laughs> got things rolling right and I'm not hurting really, really bad. Alright, we did that first side pretty hard and hot. Pretty hot and hard, and fast and heavy. That looks good right there. Filet mignon, so I'm going to turn the temperature down. We're going to slow cook it a little bit on that side. And, um, whew, it's already getting up in my nose. It smells good. Got that liquid smoke in there. Yeah, man, I just get on this big thing and came to your. I'll call somebody out, man, if I catch them not running straight, man, you know? <sighs> kind of sucks when the person seemed rather intelligent and had things together and was a top commenter, and then I come to realize the person was like saying one thing over here and then saying another thing over here, and the two of them didn't match. I was like, well, hold up, you're telling me all this is happening from Fukushima. And this is your field of study and then you turn around and you say something totally unhelpful on the Fukushima discussion on a, faith, on, on a local station when you don't even live here and then you do the same thing with another local station about local food on the SNAP program and I've done it for a year plus and I'm a local chef and I'm handicapped so I have to be like real careful and how far I can go and to get my food and all that and I'm like really cool over here with the Winko and glad it's close and they you know they're used to me having episodes so they don't trip out and you know so you know I had to pull pull their cord man they're like hey you don't live here don't come in here all sideways and yell about people feeding their kids wrong we all know soda's bad for you our moms told us that. We know. That's why they used to give us the little bottles with the real sugar. <laughs> well, I'm talking about getting that real sugar happening, man. <laughs> Ain't gonna play no game with the sugar, I'm telling you. Is there a steak? Put a little bit of juice on there. Yeah! Yeah! It's gonna be real hot. Waiting for our potato to come out. Potato will be out in a second. <laughs> <laughs> 